Welcome to Northeast Current. I'm your guest host today, Kathy Ristrouch, and with me is Lou Bizignani. He is the founder and, and board member of Actors Circle, as I'm a board member as well. And Lou has so many talents. Uh, mm -hmm. We're doing something special coming up at Actors Circle. Lou not only is directing Dracula, but he also adapted it for the stage. Lou, tell me something about you know, the show, what you're doing with it. Well, um, everybody's familiar, uh, well, I assume most people are familiar with Bram Stoker's Dracula. There have been so many spin-offs, and uh, there's probably 50 movies available uh, on DVD that, that uh, purport to be about Dracula, but very few of them follow the book. Uh, the most famous with Bela Lugosi, the movie, mm -hmm. and the stage play from the 20s and 30s. Really was very, very inaccurate if you're a, if you're a fan of the Bram Stoker novel. And uh, I did that play years and years ago, and I thought it was okay. But then I, I read Bram Stoker, and I said, that's not, that's that's not, not it. it. <laughs> so about 20 years ago, I, I, uh, I saw what I thought was a very, very good adaption of the novel. Uh, as I recall, it was Louis Jordan was Dracula back in 77, I think it was, on PBS. And I used that as sort of a framework uh, of course, I had to put it on the stage. I didn't, it wasn't a movie, and there's many things you cannot do on the stage that you can do in a movie. So we did it here, and, uh, and I thought it was, you know, it was nice. It was okay. And 25 years later, I, uh, I decided that, well, you, there's so much going on television right now with Dracula. Yeah. You know, so many shows. And collect, there's a new TV series yeah. called Dracula, which now, is pretty have good. You, have you seen that? I saw the first two episodes, is, and, I, and, and you can watch it on... Uh, on your computer by going I to NBC.com. Right. So anyhow, I, I recommend it, but it's not, again, it's, it's not the not, Bram Stoker at all. Not ask. at all, not okay. at all. Uh, so I decided to do it again only because of the popularity, and I looked at my old script and I realized that what I had done at that time that I thought was, uh, you know, pretty good was kind of a Reader's Digest version and also inaccurate. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a number of inaccuracies in it. And so I re-adapted it, redid it, added scenes, added characters, put characters back in that I had deleted the last time that were in the book. And we have a great cast. We have 21 people who are working very hard in the snow and in yes. the freezing weather. And, uh, and some newcomers, I know. Oh, we have a number, of, a number of new people. I'm very happy with a lot of the new people. How some about the one that's doing Dracula? How new is he? Um, well, I almost He's, hate to name him, but I'm going to. It's David Schulte. Yes. He's a teacher. Yeah at the high school which, and which, uh, Scranton? If you, yes Scranton if you meet school? him on the street you will not run away he's a very nice looking uh, man <laughs> and so forth but when he, when he take gets into his dracula mode even i sort of sit back in my seat <laughs> because he looks he, he you, really you wonder what he does at night for a living you know and i do have but, a photo of him that, oh it's great that great i saw the, the picture it's a great picture yeah but uh, yes he's doing a nice job but the whole yeah. the whole cast i mean we have uh, 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 you know you know actually when you think about it dracula is the title uh, Dracula is not the male lead. The male lead, in my estimation, is Van Helsing, the the uh, the European doctor. He comes over from Amsterdam. And who's doing that? Uh, Bill Zaransky. Bill Zaransky. Oh, another fabulous actor. He's worked fabulous, with us before. Yes. And uh, and uh, he comes over and he knows about the occult arts and the dark mm -hmm. arts and so forth. And he's you know studied that area because they don't know what to do. Poor Lucy is getting weaker and weaker day by okay, day. Okay, Lucy. Now tell us a little about Lucy okay. and who's playing Lucy. We have two new gals uh, that never worked with us before. Uh, Lucy is being played by a gal named Laura Maselli okay. and uh, uh, her best friend, uh, Mina, Mina mm -hmm. Murray, is being played by a gal named Joanna. And I can, I'm having a hard time pronouncing her even though we've been working together for two months. Uh, it's like Fabergé. Yeah. But it's, okay. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Probably. It's sort of like the Fabergé eggs, and okay. she's, she's really exquisite. Yeah. Um, and where but, are they from, these girls? Oh, where are they from? Uh, well, Laura's a Scranton girl. I'm not sure. Yeah. Uh, Joanna is from St. Louis. St. Louis. Yeah, she goes oh. to, she goes to school you? here. The University no, she's up at, no. uh, up at Baptist Bible, I Baptist think. Ba oh, that's right. I think but I met her. She, is a, she, uh, she, she went home to St. Louis for the Christmas vacation because yeah. we don't rehearse that. Right. Seven, eight, nine days between yeah. Christmas and New Year's. Yeah. Uh, I have, uh, I hate to say it's famous. It's famous amongst the seven people that know me. Uh, uh, not to worry. 
Oh, I, go, I know. Because my cast oh. keeps coming up to me in my costume lady, Carol Davis. Or Carol Davis. Carol Arena. Carol Arena. Uh, Carol, Carol Davis, Davis is, is stage my stage manager. manager. She's doing a fabulous and, job. Uh, and I'm bad with names anyway, but they're both fabulous. So I, I mm -hmm. couldn't do the show without them, especially, yeah. uh, uh, well, Carol Arena is to, to, Organizing to, all those costumes. to costume and to make cast costumes members. and to sew and to Plus, fit yeah, 21 do you have people. Co do you have costume changes too? Oh, yes. Oh, have, yes. So not only 21, but I think, double uh, it maybe? There's, uh, and the other, I can't, I can't stop without mentioning that Carol Davis. Carol Davis, who, yes was my assistant and stage manager 25 years, I'm saying 25 she years ago. She was also on the Board of Actors Circle yes. years ago and but left she's for a, a but while. But she worked on the first Dracula. Yes, okay. And as soon as I realized I was gonna be allowed to do it again, mm -hmm. back, you know, several months ago, first call I made was to Carol Davis. Yeah. Hadn't talked to her in a little while. Yeah. And she jumped right in and she's, uh, the show's gonna go on, I think primarily because of Carol Davis, more so yes. than me, because I, I even forget the you know, what, what scene we're doing. Okay. And she's, it's a very complex show. Yes. But it's going to be fabulous. And Oh, yes. And Lou, I'm running out of time with you because we have another person, Jeff Ginsburg, who is our producer of the show and, and also our board member and vice president of our board now. And he's coming after this break. So, Lou, thanks for all the conversation. Okay. He could go on and on. I know and I could. we got to take a break here. And coming back is Jeff Ginsburg. Yes, oh, sweetheart. Can I give you a hand? <laughs> no thanks, Dad. I got it. Okay. I'm gonna go fix the lamp in your room. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Welcome back to Northeast Current. Again, I'm Kathy Ristrouch, your guest host today. And with me is Jeff Ginsburg, fellow board member, vice president of our board right now, and all around do everything guy. He's producing Dracula. And before we get into talking about you, Lou wanted me to mention very briefly about someone he's very, very uh, uh, beholding to for this show is Ted LaRusso. He's a good friend of Lou's. He's done shows for Actor Circle in the past, wrote shows. One of my favorites that he did years ago was Frankenstein. He lived in New York City for a while there, working, doing all kinds of things with uh, the hospitality industry and things changing, being what they are with the economy. He's back home in Scranton again and back here helping us out. So I'm sure we'll see a lot more of Ted LaRusso now. And after saying all those nice things about Ted, I want to get back to Jeff now. Jeff, who has done tons of stuff for Actors Circle ever since he got on board, before he got on our board, he's always the guy, if you ask him to do something, there he is. He helps out, he helps with the set, he helps out painting, he loves to be a producer. He does the house managing. And of course, he's acting on stage. If you've, anyone that's watching this, if you've been to our shows, you will recognize Jeff. He's played so many different characters. Uh, we won't even get into all that, Jeff. But talk about the characters you're doing in this show, Dracula. Well, I'm playing Bolds. That's the doctor's assistant. That's the main role. And I'm also playing a drunk part. And then there's a part where a I'm... A funny drunk? Are you going to be the funny... Are you a funny drunk? We're actually... We're he does both. comedy so well. Uh -huh. And then there's a scene where I'm, I'm a customer in an inn, briefly, making some comments. Oh, so are you ad-libbing as you do so well? Uh, not, we'll not you so much. A little... <laughs> just, just a little personal touch in there, but oh, I, sticking I get, with the I script. I get this from the dirt, like, lose on the side, going, like, don't you dare. No, we're sticking, <laughs> we're sticking to the dialogue there. Sticking to the dialogue, but... But uh, bold is the, main, is the main part I have as uh -huh. the doctor's assistant, and it's been yeah. a lot of fun. That's good. That's good. Yeah, so it's been very busy, of course. Yes. Um, I, just to make sure we get all the details in, uh, I'm, I should have... Um, uh, Regina's going to be putting up a, our flyer that shows you all the dates, but Dracula... Uh, just so you're aware of it, if you, people that know Actor Circle, we typically do two weekends, but this one we're doing three weekends. We're starting on Thursday, January 30th, and we're adding a second Thursday, the next weekend, and then the following weekend, the third weekend is just a Friday and Saturday evening. 
So that will be January 30th, 31st, February 1 and 2 is the first weekend, 6, 7, 8, 9, second weekend, again, Thursday through Sunday, and then Friday and Saturday, the 14th and the 15th. So that's evenings, Thursdays through Saturdays at 8 p.m. and your Sunday matinees, two Sunday matinees at 2 p.m. Don't want you to forget that because this is going to be a fabulous show with a, with a huge cast, 21 people. Mm -hmm. How's that working with those people, Jeff? It's great. It's great. Yeah. Everybody's um, putting a lot of effort into it, and it's just a real reward and joy to see it further develop mm -hmm. into soon to be a finished product. So yeah. everybody's really great and working really hard. Yeah. So. so tell me some about, about some of these cast members. I know, uh, let's see, we have Lori Lotney. Who are the... Um, do we have, well, Dracula is biting people all over the place. Can we talk about who's getting, getting bitten, the actors well, involved, or is that a secret? <clears throat> well, I know that there's, there's several vampiresses in this yeah. play. Can you think of which, getting, who they I'm, are? I'm trying to remember I the names. I think Leva Lanton is one. I saw her yes. with her teeth. We yes. have a photo of her with Dracula and the teeth. <clears throat> yeah, she's and quite Lottie. possessed. And Kelly, Kelly. Kelly Ann Walsh, yeah, Kelly a fabulous Walsh actress. Yes. And and Deborah oh, Buck. And Debbie yeah, Buck. Debbie Buck. Debbie done, Buck. Done some oh, I shows know all these her. people. They're fabulous. Yeah. We'd also like to mention Art Walsh. Who oh, did a fabulous job on the set. Fabulous set. And Casey Thomas is, print, is painting. Uh, Casey Thomas is painting along with some other, with other some people. Some other people. And Car Carol Arena doing the decorations. Mm. And also we had uh, we have two uh, of help helpers that we have George. Oh, Conrad George Conrad. And, his brother. and Jacob. And Jacob. And Jacob. They just got fabulous. on board. And John, John Shadle. Shadle. Helping. They just got on board helping out. Wonderful. So I'm looking forward to all this. We got to wrap it up. The phone number is 570-342-9707. Here, Actor Circle at Providence Playhouse in Scranton, 1256 Providence Road.